Hello and welcome to this presentation of how to export Sage data. My name is Aram Archerosian and I'm going to go compare and contrast the options that we have for exporting Sage data. So why do you need to export the data in the first place? Well, in this connected world what you need to do is to be able to integrate your accounting system with other things like your CRM, MRP, but more frequently with your e-commerce platforms like Amazon, Shopify, eBay. Uh, and in terms of reporting, the new tools, things like Power BI and Zoho Analytics also need to be fed data from your uh, various different systems. So what's the best way to do this? Well, it's horses for courses, really. For us, we've got three separate products which uh, allow you to export data and they have different uh, benefits. So let's start off with Sage Data Exporter. Sage Data Exporter is aimed uh, is a command line tool which basically allows you to export all of the data in Sage in different formats so that they can be used by different systems. So the formats include things like CSVs and XLS, JSON and XML, but also SQLite, which is a very flexible and powerful tool because what it allows you to do is also create things like joins and uh, views so that you can take the complexity of the data away from the user. The data can then be used in things like Excel and so on. Our second product is Sage to SQL. Now this is aimed at people who want the data in Microsoft SQL Server rather than any other variant. And it's used for people who are integrating it to other systems like manufacturing systems or CRM systems. It caters pre predominantly for large volume sites or Sage sites that require multiple companies. It works on both full version of Microsoft SQL Server as well as SQL Express, which is the free version. Our third and final product is called Sage Report Scheduler. Now, what Sage Report Scheduler allows you to do is to use your existing Sage reports, which means you don't have to go and rewrite them. But what it allows you to do is to run those reports without being logged into Sage. So you can put it on a schedule and get it done every night. So for example, if you want to send your departmental profit and loss to all your department managers overnight, you can do that um, uh, on a schedule. You can also export in all the normal report formats that Sage Report Writer supports. And we'll have a look at that in a minute. Uh, the things that all three products have in common is that they can be used on multiple Sage companies and they can be scheduled to run automatically. They can also be used to upload uh, data to uh, FTP sites or SFTP sites or Dropbox or something like that so that they can be then used by your e-commerce platforms or your reporting tools. So let's have a look at these in action. Let's start with Sage Report Generator. Sage Report Generator allows you to use any of the existing Sage reports and schedule them to run as you want them. You can then uh, also add parameters to some of these reports if, they can, uh, if they've been configured to do so. And also as far as the configuration is concerned, you can output them in pretty much anything, Excel, PDF, CSV, and so on, which is what Sage Report Designer allows you to do. You can then also schedule them to run daily, weekly, monthly, and so on. The program also runs from a command line. So you can just run a batch file. And in this case, what I've said is go and run my profit and loss report and then provide and export them in all the formats so that we can go and have a quick look at, look, look at them. So let's go and have a look. So here it is, here's the export folder. And if I go and have a look at my report, it can be in HTML format, in bitmap format, XML format. In fact, in any format that you want but the report is the same thing, it's just one report being run. Even more, this can automatically email it to you. So here's an example of the report having been emailed to me automatically, and then I can just go and preview that. And you can do all of this without actually being logged into Sage. So you can just get it to run overnight or whatever. So that's a Sage report scheduler. Right, let's go and have a look at the Sage Data Exporter. Sage Data Exporter is a command line program and it runs from a batch file. So in this particular case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this batch file, which is going to go and look at export all of my data and produce them in CSV format. But the program can export the data in lots of different formats like JSON, XML, uh, SQLite, and so on. And we'll go and have a look at those in a second. And what it's doing here is it's going into the Sage database and just taking all of those different records and producing CSV files. That's it, it's finished. So let's go and have a look at those. So here it is, these are the reports that have just been run, uh, nominals, invoices, fixed assets, departments, pretty much everything that's in Sage. And if I look at that, it just produces those in CSV format. But I can also have them in different formats. So I can have them in JSON formats, for example. So if I open up the JSON format, those are the JSON files. 
uh, I can have them in a TA tab format or Excel format and so on. So that's Sage Data Exporter. Our final product to look at is Sage to SQL, where we take all of the Sage data and put it to a SQL Server. And here it is. And what this program allows me to do is to take specific tables from Sage and put them into SQL Server. So I can do customers, suppliers, products, and so on. And these then go into SQL Server, and I can then use those in any way that I like. So for example, here is me looking at my customers in a SQL database and so on. So those are the three products that we can use for our data exports. But we can consume those in all sorts of things, things like Excel, Power BI, and so on, or our own Sage dashboard designer, which uses the data and provides the information to you in, uh, in widgets. So here we are, so I'm looking at my dashboard of my top five customers, for example, and this would consume the data that has been generated using our reporting tools. But this is just an example of a reporting tool. You can use other things if you wish. Thank you for your time and interest in uh, the methods that we have for exporting Sage data. Please feel free to contact me if you have any questions and to also arrange a free trial. Thank you.